right, here is the exterior tour of 325 Handy. And uh, excellent agent here, Chris, totally allowing this video. And um, let me just walk and talk. So check out the neighborhood, take it all in. Great little pocket here. Ease of access is fantastic. And by the way, Rich gave me the rundown of the story. So I'll share that with you personally. Uh, but real quick while we're walking around, I am here because another one of my appointments got canceled. And it seems as if the listing agent and or owner would not allow me to do this. And I am just quite honestly at this point astounded. It is um, amazing. We're gonna have big tech companies come for our lunch and you know, <laughs> it's, it's gonna happen. So my, uh, my two cents is get on the technology train or, or you're gonna be rolled over, um, you know. And again, personally, my opinion. <laughs> but here we go. So check out the front, excellent curb appeal. And here we go. And by the way, that, that quote I just said, or, you know, close, is exactly what was said, I believe, in a Keller Williams family reunion or something to that effect. So I'll post that. But I truly believe in it. Industries that don't change, adapt, and continuously improve, they, um, other people beat them to the punch. So that's the whole point of doing what I've been doing. But yet, <laughs> I digress. Here we are. So big flat yard. Let's get into the essence of what makes these videos valuable. And that is saving everybody time, effort, traveling, and whatnot by essentially seeing a house without being there. And being able to rewatch it and you know maybe see things you would have missed the first time through so that being said roof looks to be in pretty good shape i'm actually going to fly the drone we'll get it up there and check it out i do like the walkout basement the deck and let's see what we have here and really i said big flat backyard but open too if someone's looking for a pool or just a flat space i think that's fantastic here's the outside unit i'll get you some details on that right and remember two ways to walk out of here from the basement level here is your driveway so you can park an additional car here which is fantastic there's your electric meter vinyl siding gutters painted to match one car garage yeah excellent curb appeal let me just bring you up here see if i notice anything else before venturing inside all right now we go inside all right, and in we go. All right, bi-level house. You can go up, you can go down. Let's go up first. I will check these corners because I'm guessing, uh, corners of the rug, guessing there's hardwoods under them. This looks like a laminate that they went over. But based on the year of construction, I am uncertain if there's hardwoods underneath. So if we take a quick little gander, just to see, or you know what? So we'll have to revisit that later. Size wise, really good. And windows too, I know that's of importance. Let's see. So wooden windows, screens in there. It looks like storm windows too. Single clasp in the middle. All right, into the dining room. You know what? I can probably figure this out. <sighs> Considering that's essentially flush, I would lean towards saying there is no hardwood. Sorry, just had to stand up there. Uh, yeah, unfortunately we'll see that, but my gut feel is there's plywood here underneath. So if you want to do flooring or carpeting, you can. The entranceway was already done. The dining room was already done. We do have a decent deck here, by the way. Sliders here. I know where you saw the backyard, but let's check it out. It's actually warm. And everywhere I look, I don't see any snow. So I'm gonna say it's officially gone. This is a good size. In we go. Now, based on how this is constructed, for any changes, I would assume, and we can check, that wall is not load bearing. And again, just for the record, all these videos are my own personal opinion, um, but I'm fairly certain that is correct. So here's the layout of the kitchen, nice and open. 
All right, got the window in the kitchen. Here is looking back around to the entranceway. Right here, could be a coat closet. Uh, there you go, all that time, there's your answer. So yes, that is a subfloor. Looks like plywood or OSB, I'll check. But that means under that green sculpture carpet, you do not have hardwoods. So, access for the bathroom. Let's see, do we have electric? We do, okay, we're good. All right. Okay. Most people are gonna wanna redo that. Here is linen closet. And then one, two, three. So same carpet we saw in the living room. I would assume the same subfloor. Check out the windows. And this is your primary bedroom. So two windows, this one and that one. Good size closet and then good size bathroom. The walk-in shower. All right. And then like I said, bedroom two and three. Same carpet, same carpet. All right. Well, the good news is if somebody paints this, it looks like white colors. So you may not need multiple coats. But here's bedroom number three. I think the fan in the bathroom is finally kicking on. Let's turn that off. All right, so that is the main level when you walk in. I should call it the slightly upper level. Let's head down below. So we saw three bedrooms and a bathroom so far. Down here. And down we go. Let's see what this level has. All right. Tell you what, this could certainly be a bedroom. So good size room, no building closet, but an office, a den, or a bedroom if you put it in there, because you are ground level right here. All right, so I'm gonna say we're up to four bedrooms. This is the laundry room. Nice painted concrete floor with a sink and a window. The water heater is wrapped, so I can't get any more details for you on that. And this unit is a carrier. So there you are. I had to check too, that's an oil line, I believe. So that'll be oil fed. I'll check some more details. All right, check this out. This is the garage. See if there's anything there is. So let's get this going. All right, the panel is here. So we have to make sure we check up on that. Let's just be walk around and stuff. All right, there's your main 150 amp. See what's going on and the lines. So good size one car garage. Looks like you have the built-in storage back there, which is good and a little workbench area. All right, let's just checking out the floor. That's concrete, so is this. All right. And then you can walk out here to get to the backyard. What do we have here? This is the water meter. All right, oh, this is good. Looks like they replaced some of that drain, most of it, with uh, PVC. So some plumbing, a good amount of plumbing has already been updated. Very nice, and while I'm looking up, yeah, fantastic. All right, that is a half bathroom, I believe. Let's check it out. Wallpaper and carpet runs in there. All right, and then a closet. Yeah, linen closet. All right, and then this room, which walks out. Check this out. Oh, this is fantastic. So sliders here, that great backyard, and just take in this space. So you have windows over there. I mean, yes, this could be another bedroom too if you really need it, but just a great space to walk out. And that's it. So all this should be on concrete, which is good news. And uh, let's take you out. All right, so that is the whole interior tour. In fact, there has to be an attic access point. Don't wanna miss that, it's right there. So attic access is here. 
Let's see what that has in store. All right. December 2001, check this out. I like the uh, instructions for how to go about using this. All right, so up we go. <laughs> Turn the light out. I like it. I, I'd leave notes like that for my wife too. All right, so a lot of storage. Insulated. It's warm up here. This is good. Check some things out with the roof. Obviously, you know, always recommended to get an inspection. But for the most part, looks like good storage space. Yeah, excellent. So there we go. Let's head on down. All right, so we're back down. Just one more view of everything. In fact, I don't know if I entered the kitchen from this angle. So take that in there. It is a true eating kitchen. Remember my comments about that wall. All right. Personal opinion, you got a lot of potential here. You really do. It is a spacious home. Technical, I mean, you're living above grade, even downstairs in what I'm gonna call the basement. It's not a true basement, because it's ground level. And um, there you are. 